Once Upon a Wonderland? There's an exciting new series trailer because there are billions and billions of fans. And we have news about a certain singing blackbird, all on this special edition of Slice. Covering all the news from every dark corner of the universe. SliceofSciFi.com Hey, greetings everyone to another Slice of Sci-Fi. I am Michael R. Menengay. I'm Ben Raginton. I'm Noah Richman. I'm Keith Lane. And I'm Megan Zier. Awesome. That is the team for tonight. Let's do it. Your news team is next. Well, ABC, they are just going gangbusters, and they're doubling down on the fairy tale treats for this upcoming season. Hmm. Executive producer Edward Kitsis gave Comic Con attendee a twenty attendees twenty minute preview of the new spinoff, Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, explaining how Alice got to Wonderland in the first place, why she's no longer there, and why she's currently institutionalized. Hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, she's just a little loco. Just as she's about to recant her story and undergo treatment to make her forget her lost love, the Knave of Hearts, he crosses over from Storybrook to tell her that the genie Cyrus may not have been killed by the Red Queen after all, and with the help of the White Rabbit, that is voiced by John Lithgow, mm-hmm. they return to Wonderland to start their search. Sounds like a soap opera to me. Truly. Lost star Naveen Andrews will star in Wonderland in the second episode as Jafar, but this will be a <laughs> radically different sorcerer than the one we saw in Disney's animated Aladdin. Will he be a good guy? <laughs> well, radically different. You've just fig- you, know, you figure that out. Hmm. Once Upon a Time in Wonderland will premiere uh, on October 10th, and we have a trailer for it. When your father brought you to us, you claimed you'd travel to this place of Wonderland, where you had miraculous, strange, and terrifying adventures. An invisible cat, a hookah-smoking caterpillar, food and drink capable of altering your physical form, a murderous red queen. And you encountered all these things by literally falling down a rabbit hole. Can you tell us where you really were? With a friend. So we're both strangers in this most strange land. Strange is one word for it. Wondrous. Dangerous. Alice, if you wish to be released from this facility, you need to- I don't to... wish for anything. This has something to do with the genie you believe you met. You found my bottle, Alice. Anything is possible. Well, I do have what I came for. Proof that all this is real. As who's this proof for? A husband? No. Good. Good. Uh, I mean just that you're not separate from your love. That would be a terrible fate. The proof is for my father. He thinks I'm insane. So you're risking your life for someone who doesn't believe in you. When you really love someone, you don't need proof. You can feel it. You told your father that you... You set him free, that the two of you traveled from world to world, fighting pirates, swimming with mermaids. You fell in love. I've never met a human quite like you, Alice. I've never met a genie quite like you. Our hearts are entwined. Now I will know when you are near. When your father found you, you were inconsolable. Alice, run! You said the love of your life was gone. Murdered. Not what I said. Alice, you were an ignored little girl who wanted to be loved. So you created a fantasy land full of characters who'd help you become who you wanted to be. You wouldn't be the first child to do this. You're just the first to grow up and still believe it was real. I don't believe it anymore. We know you're lying. You still cry out for him in your sleep. We have a new procedure that can take away your pain, make you forget whatever or whomever you're holding on to. 
has hurt. Just sign here. Tomorrow your life begins anew. Cyrus. Alice. She needs help. He's alive. That's impossible. No, as well as I do, Alice. No, nothing's impossible in Wonderland. You're late. To you, everybody's late. Once long ago, I got you back your heart. Now, you need to help me get back mine. Wow. I'm in. Wow. wow. I'm cool. in. Now I see why they did a 20-minute trailer on it. <laughs> that thing is fantastic. That's, that beats the Tim Burton film. Holy <laughs> cow. Well, also new additions to Once Upon a Time have been announced, with more still to come. Ariel the Little Mermaid will be a part of season three, as well as Peter Pan and the Lost Boys of Neverland. And while no one has yet been cast as Ariel, young actor Robbie Kay, who played Pinocchio in the 2008 TV mini- miniseries, uh, and appeared in Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, has been signed to be a member of the Lost Boys. Mm. ABC will also air 11 un- uninterrupted episodes in the fall and 11 uninterrupted episodes in the spring, ending the haphazard airings of season two. Mm. Interesting. I don't know. All I have, have to stuff. say is if Peter Pan is evil, I'm flipping a table. Because he better <laughs> not be evil. <laughs> I want a camera on that when you do it. <laughs> well, maybe Captain Hook was just misunderstood. I'm there. I'm I'm in. For Shut this. your mouth. Dustin Hoffman good. would agree with you. <laughs> it looks really good. Fox and National Geographic debuted a trailer for Cosmos, a space-time odyssey at Comic-Con, ahead of the new series premiere this coming spring. The series reboot will be hosted by renowned astrophysicist. Yeah, astrophysicist. One of those fancy terms. Yeah, them there fancy things. Neil deGrasse Tyson with Seth MacFarlane, Carl Sagan's widow, and Druyan, and director Brandon Braga as executive producers. Interesting. We've, totally cool. And we have an awesome, awesome trailer of this. We, you, okay, more video, but you're going to love it. The cosmos is all that is, or ever was, or ever will be. Our contemplations of the cosmos stir us. We know we are approaching the grandest of mysteries. It's time to get going again.
those science shows, and that looks fantastic. Well, they're yeah. taking. I, I love how they're taking Carl's original idea and just going even further oh, with man. it, you make know, it I, even bigger. I, I don't think I even need to see the show. I think I'm just going to watch that trailer. Over. Yeah, watch the trailer. <laughs> There's so much stuff in that trailer. I, I, it's it's fantastic. They're doing it big production, and it's it's the way it needs to be done. I mean, it 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 it, it really gives honor to what Sagan mm. created back mm-hmm. in the and day. And there were a couple of classic Sagan poses there. Absolutely. <laughs> so that was, oh, yeah. that was great. Oh, uh, like yeah, that. Neil deGrasse, he knew exactly what he was doing. <laughs> Absolutely. I tell you what, we're going to take a quick break on that and while we're pondering how we're going to set our DVR for all this content, and we'll be back in a little bit. what's happening. Well, one of my TV shows. Oh, I love this show so much. I love where it's going to be going now. As Arrow begins production on a second season, members of the cast and crew took to the stage of Comic-Con, of course they did, to drop a few hints about what we can expect this season. Joining uh, lead Stephen Amell on stage were Greg Berlanti, Andrew Kreisberg, Mark Guggenheim, and Katie Cassidy. Now, Kreisberg says that the season is going to track Oliver Queen going from being the Arrow or the Vigilante to becoming Green Arrow. Calling the new season epic, Kreisberg hinted that the title of the season premiere gives hints about the character arc in season two, and the season premiere is called City of Heroes. Love it. The new season will pick up five months after the events of the season one finale and will find many of the characters in a very different place. Well, after what happened, I would imagine so. Because one of the most obvious differences could be for Detective Lance, who, um, because of his cooperation with the Archer, uh, he may be demoted to being just a beat cop. Producers hinted that the season may see the start of the Black Canary arc, but that the storyline on Arrow may not precisely follow uh, what had unfolded in the comics, meaning that Black Canary in the TV universe is not Laurel. Ooh. No, big surprise there. Amel went on to add that Oliver's arc this season will be heavily informed by the death of Tommy in the season finale. Amel stated that Tommy's death will influence everything that Oliver does, and not just Oliver, but every single person in the cast, because Tommy was just attached to everybody, uh, as, and what they're all going to do in season two. Arrow returns to the CW October 9th. I can't wait. I'm just hoping that uh, that it's on Netflix here really shortly so yeah. that we can uh, get back to it. And it's interesting that we had this story just on the uh, on the uh, um, backside of uh, Knockout. Knockout, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought hey, it's like, Arch- hey, there we go. Archery is in. <laughs> Simple as that. Archery. Archery. Disney XD broke the news at San Diego Comic-Con that Ultimate Spider-Man has been renewed for a third season last week. Really? Wow. Not surprising. I've heard great things about it. Yeah, it's a good show. Season three will see Spidey still working as an agent with S.H.I.E.L.D., but also joining forces. Now imagine this. We're going to talk about on the screen. You're going to see Spider-Man on the screen joining forces with Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and Hulk to become a member of the Avengers. Because they do have that new Avengers cartoon. Mm. Yeah. So for for those of you that feel like, well, you just can't ever see all the Marvel characters together, you know, on the big screen, well, we do always have this. Well, Spidey did work with Avengers in the comic books. From here no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. On, on the screen, I'm talking about. I know, about. but, but right. they're, they're following what happened in the comic books yeah, mm-hmm. a bit. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, so according to the Hollywood producer, to the Hollywood reporter, producer Jeff Loeb teased that fans will see Cloak and Dagger... Amadeus nice. Cho. Oh, that excites me. Really? Kazar. Now, that's one that Kazar, I... Kazar, wow. Yeah, I was going to say, that's one that I thought had um, had been uh, long forgotten from my childhood. And the <laughs> animated debut of Agent Venom next season. Oh, weird. That'll be interesting. And for animation fans who can't wait to see the new animated series, Hulk and the Agents of Smash! Smash! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was for you, Sam. <laughs> nice. Now, and, and I do have to wonder why on earth the Avengers animated show was canceled for something called Hulk Agents of Smash, but maybe I'll need to tune in to find out. I don't think it was canceled. I think they're rebranding it as something new. Could be. Okay, we'll see. Uh, series pilot will be available as a free preview on iTunes the week of August 5th to 11th. So there's my chance to tune in and find out for myself. Okay. The series will uh, make its debut on August 11th at 11 a.m. Eastern with back-to-back episodes. Hulk and the Agents of Smash will follow Hulk, She-Hulk, A-Bomb, Red Hulk, and Scar. Wow. Scar! Scar! Who form an unlikely family living <laughs> under one roof as they battle villains while proving to the world that they themselves are not monsters. I love that they're all living together like it's Hulk <laughs> real world. It yeah. is real world. That's it. <laughs> it it's, it's a version of the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what? I think it's time for some trivia, guys. Okay. Put on your thinking caps, kids, and play along with the gang. Hey, it's trivia time. Well, hello, Slicers. This week, LeJean from Chandler has sent us a Chandler? tribute Chandler? Of really? Our to Chandler? Star yeah. Wars. Yeah. Nice. The Empire Strikes Back. Uh-oh. Except there isn't a single clip from the movie. Oh, great. How can that be, you ask? Just listen and you'll find out. Here comes the first clip. Adventure, excitement, Jedi craves not these things. Oh, oh. I, I see. I get where this is going. longer version. So the tape was out of reach. How the hell did you get it? The Jedi mind trick. Oh, Bill and Ted. Yeah. Adventure, excitement. Jedi craves not these things. Yeah, I think that's a mm, Bill yeah, and Ted I thing. Think so too. I'm not sure if it's the first, first one. First, I have to credit Lejean for those sound effects covering the uh, expletives. That yeah. was Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith as Jane oh, Silent oh. in the Kevin Smith film. Of course. Mall Rats from 19. How did we get that wrong? Here's oh, the I don't next know. clip. Luke, I am your father. Oh, that's a Jack Black thing, I think. Hmm. Whoa, that wasn't much to go on. Here's the longer version. La, 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 Luke, <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Jack Black. Luke, I am your father. La, 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 <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Jack Black. Yeah, it's got to be a Jack Black thing. Yeah, I have no idea what it's from. Oh, I've interrupted happy time. Look, your father wants you to check oh, out the oh, oh, problems. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no, not now, that thing. I know thing. you'd love to just sit there and keep being not slim, but we got to work a little today. Okay? Is that with Chris Boy? Or, hey, was that Chris Farley who was doing that? Yes, that was Tommy, Chris Farley. Oh, God. That was Chris Farley and David Spade, David Spade yeah. in Tommy Boy. Tommy Boy, yeah. Also from 1995. Here's our next Empire reference. I am your father. <laughs> uh-huh. it's it almost sounds like Animaniacs, yeah. longer version. Dexter, son, yep. could you come here for a moment? I'd like to have a word with you. And just what do you want? Oh, I can't help it. Dexter, I wouldn't say it so bad. I am your father. Oh, that is not the possible. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 come on. You're Dexter's almost there. Laboratory? <laughs> what was that, Noah? Dexter's Your Laboratory? <laughs> Oh. That was Christine Cavanaugh as Dexter yeah. and Jeff Bennett as yep. yeah, his Dexter. father in Gendy Tartakovsky's the first Dexter. Dexter's Laboratory. That was an episode from the second season called The Muffin King in 1997. Get ready, here comes our final Empire Strikes Back reference of the day. You're not my father! You! Come on! Mm. Oh. <laughs> wow. I'm so dead. Ah, I'm the bill. Then you're not my father. Come on. I have nothing. Got nothing. Oh, I just got it right at the end. 
That was Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves. There's your Bill and Ted. This is Bill and Ted. Adventure from 1989. (laughs) And that's all for our Empire Strikes Back reference collection. If you have any trivia clips or ideas you'd like to send me, please send them to sliceoftrivia at gmail. Dot com. Wow, I feel just horrible. I feel there. stupid. I tell you, that That's was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job there, LeJohn. And that nice was a fun job, one. Kurt, as usual. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're uh, completely out of time for this show, so I think we're going to have to bail. Okay. okay. Don't we have more things to Bye. say? We always have more things to say. <laughs> so that's for another what? show. It's for another show because we'll be back tomorrow. That's, that's right. what we do. We're always here, folks. Yeah, we never leave this Bye-bye. house. We're always back leave. tomorrow. Bye-bye. That's right. You can always see us tomorrow. We'll have more things and more cool stuff. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.